Hi, this is Camelia. So I thought I'd experiment with um, doing a voiceover over the top of a time lapse. I haven't done it before, but um, yeah, it's not really that hard actually. So what I thought I would talk about today, because I've got this painting of a beautiful cat and I've used the color purple, is I talk about the difference between intuition and being psychic. Because this was something that was really a big theme for me when I was going through spiritual emergency. So one of the things that was kind of revealed to me that was that I would become psychic, except that I wouldn't really necessarily want to talk about it. And I quickly realized why. Because when you say you're psychic, it's kind of like there's this whole like bundle of expectation that goes with it and people are constantly trying to test you and, you know, assess you and judge you and it's kind of like it can if you're a really sensitive person it can really interfere with your filters and your ability to harness that gift however if you say you're intuitive that's different again and I think most people would agree that intuition is just a regular human function that we all have so I found it was a much more positive path to go down um, focusing on being intuitive rather than psychic because psychic can also ring a lot of alarm bells for people. It can seem kind of dodgy and, you know, fantastical, like it's, it's something that's not real. And um, yeah, so, so for me, uh, calling myself an intuitive person was a much more uh, comfortable path because I didn't feel like I had to prove anything to anyone. And also it kind of gave me a space to, to really develop those gifts. Um, sometimes words can really put us in, in a box and sometimes they can trigger people. So I find for me, because I'm really sensitive to energy, picking the right words to use is the most um, beneficial thing because it helps me, I don't know, it, it's funny, like sometimes when I say I'm not something, it actually gives me more space to become something. If I say that I am something, then it's kind of like, um, it's just too much pressure, I guess. So anyway, that was my thoughts on the difference between being psychic and intuitive. And the other thing I like about being intuitive is I think a lot of people like, you know, police officers or medical doctors or people who, who might be quite, um, oh, what's the word when you don't believe, a skeptical, they would all trust their gut instinct or their judgment, you know, like not based on facts, just based on feelings. So that's another reason why. I would prefer to say I was intuitive rather than psychic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.